What's up, Agency Go fam? In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down for you Lemless versus Woodpecker. They're two email softwares that you can use to supercharge your company. As always, if you want all my tools on how to scale your agency for free, go to agencygo.io forward slash leads. So Lemless versus Woodpecker is interesting because Lemless seems to be positioning itself slightly different than Woodpecker. And I'm gonna be breaking down in this video more reasons why I think Lemless is just gonna cut to the chase here, probably the ultimate prospecting tool that I've seen to date uh, for cold email outreach, specifically if you're doing emailing. And one thing I will say is that I've interviewed over 90 digital marketing agencies since starting my podcast, and I've also scaled my own agency to pretty good size. And I know cold email outreach is definitely the best thing to be doing right now. So if I had to compare Lemless to Woodpecker, I think I'm gonna give most of the points to Lemless, but let's break down why I think so, right? So Lemless is really, really, really catered towards that fully end-to-end -end prospector, right? Someone who's doing multiple touches on multiple channels and trying to squeeze out as many meetings as possible. Woodpecker seems to be more for agencies and people who are managing cold email outreach for individuals. Now, you can use Woodpecker for your BDR outreach, but the thing is that it's very different in my opinion. There are a lot of overlapping areas, but I still think they're targeting two different audiences. And so it depends on what you're looking for in terms of what will work best for you. So Lemless, just in terms of the overview, when you first sign up for Lemless, it's broken down into a few different areas. You have your editor, you have your tasks, you have your reports, and you have your settings. Now, if anyone here is familiar with close.io or just any conventional CRM, you'll notice some similarities between the editor, the tasks, the reports that you can have, and also the settings. Now, the thing is that with the reporting, it's definitely limited compared to your normal CRM, but what they have is limitations with their reporting, they make up for with the other features you can do for cold emailing. Now with Woodpecker, Woodpecker is pretty robust. It has a lot of integrations, a lot of things you can do within it, but really it's for managing, it's for teams that manage multiple emails from multiple email domains. And that is really the best way to scale your cold email outreach. So the key is, and you can watch this in some of my previous videos, the key to cold email outreach is to have multiple domains that are warmed up that are considered alternate domains. So domains that are not actually your main email domain. So you wouldn't use your main website domain. You would buy another domain. You'd warm that up from anywhere between four days to four weeks. I've, I've actually been able to warm up mine within four days, no problem. But some people claim that the best way to do it is to warm it up for four weeks. I don't actually think so. I've done a lot of testing on this. It's not necessarily four weeks. I think it's four days. Anyways, I'm not going to go into that in this video, but the idea is that that is the optimal time for this. Now, the thing about Woodpecker is, again, what it allows you to do, and I have a whole video on this, uh, but basically the idea is that the inbox, you can manage multiple emails from this. And this is something you actually have to manually set up inside Gmail and it, or Outlook, and this does it for you automatically. It saves you a ton of time having to send it. You can receive emails through here. So anytime you get an email to this, say this one, jordan at twizgrowth.com, I'll zoom in there for you to see, like jordan at twizgrowth.com. If I zoom in there and I click on this, now I'll see emails from Andrew at twizgrowth and then lucas at twizgrowth.com, right? Um, so that's essentially how this works. And with Lemless, they don't really make that the first thing you should be doing. Really, like I said before, this is for an outbound sales rep to hop in here and just start prospecting on their one email, maybe two emails, but really just around one email, in my opinion. That's really what they're focusing on with Lemless. And you can see different stats and things for Woodpecker inside the monitor and inside warmup. So both have Warm up, and one cool thing about Woodpecker, which I do not think Lemless currently does, from what I've seen, is they have a recovery function. And again, this is mainly why I think they're different because Woodpecker is mainly aiming for companies that have a lot of different email addresses they're trying to run to, whereas Lemlist is not really for companies that have a ton of email addresses per one BDR. It's mainly just for people who have a BDR who's managing maybe one, maybe two different email addresses. That's the biggest difference. Now with Woodpecker though, it actually will take domains that have been uh, for more or less just 
put in a bad situation from sending too many emails or whatever and recover it. And that's an interesting thing that I don't really see Lemless advertising, even though if you use their Walmart feature, it probably does roughly the same thing, I'm sure. Now, when you go into the pricing for Lemless, the thing about Lemless is again, they are more expensive than some of my recent videos I've done around GMAS, let's say. Um, but when you compare that pricing to Woodpecker, it's actually fairly similar. Now, one cool feature with Woodpecker is they claim that you can decide what you pay for and you can scale it up based on how many people you contact daily. Now, the, I get this and it actually isn't a bad model, but $69 per month, really just for email outreach. If you look at Lemus being able to have multiple different types of outreach and sequences baked into their price, I don't think that Woodpecker really is offering anything super differentiated with this. And if you remove some of these, you can see that you have Woodpecker agency, you know, and if I look at the list of things you get, right? It, you know, Woodpecker agency is not incredibly convincing to me if, because I am personally not doing this for many different people, right? I'm only doing this, uh, for, I'm not managing multiple email addresses for clients, let's say. If I was, I might use Woodpecker. But because I'm mainly making these videos from the perspective of how if you're a digital marketing agency, you can scale cold email outreach and cold calling and outbound prospecting, Lemless definitely gives you way more for the price, especially because the monthly price of really this plan, I know it's no more expensive, but what you get for it is way more valuable than what Woodpecker is giving you for the same price or roughly a little bit less, right? So I definitely would stick with it. Obviously you get the two first two months for free annually, that is convincing. But I think for most people who are looking to scale outbound reps, really this $99 a month isn't that expensive. I mean, you really want the most. And one thing I covered in previous videos that people tend to forget about is that when you're doing outbound prospecting, you have what's called switching costs. When you switch between different softwares, that incurs costs. And the thing about Woodpecker is because Woodpecker doesn't have as many features as Lemlist, you're adding extra switching costs. And that switching cost is gonna incur more than only like the $20, $30 per month that you'd have as difference between Lemlist and Woodpecker. So I definitely recommend going with Lemlist for most applications. Now again, where Woodpecker does make sense, is if you're a cold email outreach company, or let's say you're a cold email company and you're managing cold emails for other people, I think that it's actually better to use Woodpecker because it's built for that specifically. It also has Woodpecker Calls, which is a free app for Android. So that can, that's not a bad thing. There's advanced cap campaigns is what they call it, right? For LinkedIn and calls. So you can see both Lemlist and Woodpecker are moving. And this is a general thing I'm seeing with CRM software, moving more towards LinkedIn and calling even more so than before, right? And if you remove some of these prices, you get a lot less price, but again, I just don't think it's worth it compared to Lemless in terms of how they go about it. Now, if you click on this, you can actually see what their Woodpecker calling thing is. And it's pretty interesting. I will say this is definitely a differentiator compared to Lemless. This is pretty cool. It has its own app. You don't need any VoIP integration. You can use your own phone number. This is pretty, pretty cool stuff, I will say. So I'll say that if you don't already have your own phone system set up, so this is the caveat. If you don't have your own phone system set up, I recommend going with Woodpecker. Or is it, I recommend going with uh, uh, Woodpecker. But if you do have your own phone system set up, I recommend going with Lemless because I like the way they break everything down more than on Woodpecker. But this is a very differentiating feature and I think it is extremely, extremely cool. Now, something that I've covered in previous videos that I love about Lemless, and it's actually part of my strategy when it comes to building communities and building uh, you know, groups is I, I pull a lot of inspiration from Lemless. They've built a 20,000 member group in, in just a few short years. They built an incredible brand around this guy, Guillerme. And I, you know, I, I don't know him personally, but I've seen a lot of his content. It's a really cool guy, it seems. But the thing is that in the group, people are constantly talking about this software and they built a huge advantage because they built this community and people love it. People love talking about it. They're in this Facebook group constantly. It's really interesting, right? And now with the Woodpecker Academy though, this is something that is pretty cool, which is that you can grow your outbound sales skills with Woodpecker. And I think what they're doing here, and this is very cool as a differentiating factor, is that they're probably saying, look, who is our core demographic? Who are we servicing? Well, usually it's BDRs, it's salespeople, right? It's newbies a lot of times who have to do prospecting for other companies. Well, the thing is that if you don't know how to do this, 
And if these people are the drivers of some of the seats on these subscriptions for Woodpecker, then getting them through this academy is really, really interesting. They also have this Woodpecker app and it helps people learn a lot more efficiently. And so this is cool because then a sales team that signs up for Woodpecker that has new BDRs can just say, hey, go to Woodpecker site, start learning, download the app, start absorbing the material, and then you'll be able to prospect efficiently through Woodpecker. So this is really cool, I will say. I don't know if it can beat the community though. This community is very, very good. Then they have a ton of resources online. I'm not sponsored by Woodpecker or, by Woodpecker or Lemless, but I do think that Lemless wins in this regard, but I do give Woodpecker a lot of cr uh, credibility and, and a lot of uh, kudos for building this academy. This is really, really cool. What Lemless does have something similar, but it's just not demonstrated in a similar way from my perspective. Now, again, the one thing that Lemless does not have uh, that uh, Woodpecker definitely does have is Woodpecker has way more integrations that you can do than Lemless. Now, the thing is that if we're being real, most people don't have all these. So from enterprise value perspective, Woodpecker probably is a more valuable company because of these kind of integrations that they have. But let's be real. How how many people have some of these things? Like I don't know Demio. I, I know I've cl heard Click Meeting. I know that company. But I mean, these are not very popular. Some of them are very popular, obviously, but not all of them. So I don't know how much of a difference it makes to the average person but I will say the fact that they have them and they're so easy to integrate with these different services is very compelling and definitely gives them an edge. So if you have some of these unique services, then Woodpecker is the one you want to use for sure. But if you're like most people and you have most of the average sort of tools in your toolkit, like LinkedIn or from a CRM or Lemlist or manually, right? Then. I would honestly go with Woodpecker or Lemless because Lemless gives you what you need and it doesn't have all of these different integrations, which you, doesn't really matter too much to have all of them. You only need a couple of them. But the thing is, again, that it does help if you have a specific one. So again, Woodpecker wins here if, uh, you know, if you have a specific integration that you need to pipe all your leads into. But Lemless for most people is going to be fine, right? Now, when it comes to monitoring, this is one thing that I think Lemless does as not as good of a job as Woodpecker. Woodpecker positions itself a little bit more closely to uh, like what Send in Blue is. Send in Blue is a shared uh, email relay. And essentially what that means is all these emails are going into a pool and they're basically sent out and they're being warmed up from one central location. And I think that's kind of what they're doing. And you can see here, Bounce Shield is our system that protects your deliverability by stopping sending processors before the provider's limit is reached. And so this is pretty cool. It basically prevents you from having your domain get per, warm, uh, get damaged. So I think Woodpecker, because their main core function is around helping people with emails or with those email addresses, I think that, I think Woodpecker is for most intents and purposes, probably a more all-in-one solution for, again, an agency that's looking to get emails up fast, get things going, get this bounce shield working. So that way they're not gonna be sending their domains to spam and they can get, domains warmed up and scaled pretty easily. Whereas Lemless is again, just more for the average business, the average agency that's looking to scale is more broadly speaking available to them. Woodpecker is for a very, very specific niche of agency in my opinion, that's working with this and needs this and sees this as very valuable, right? Now, if I'm gonna continue going here again, this is one killer feature that I think just in terms of how it is actually delivered right? I think Lemless does a better job. Now, the thing about Woodpecker is Woodpecker does have sequence functions inside. You can actually build sequences when you're doing your campaigns, right? But again, it's all about having it, it delivered appropriately. When I click on the single campaign, I'm not entirely sure how to set up these different sequences. Now, I, I could do it. I just don't know exactly how. And again, Everything is based on how effectively, right? How effectively it shows this system. So the thing is that with Lemlist, when I go into the campaign, I can easily click leads. I can easily click sequences. And when I do that, I can easily add in a call step. I can add in a visit step, which will visit different people's profiles based on different sequences that I do. So it's all in one, it's all inclusive. And that is why I think Lemlist is better than Woodpecker for the average sales rep. It's just much easier to use, much more straightforward, much more clear 
than Lemless. And then the one thing though, again, that that Lemless doesn't do as good of a job of, in my opinion, as Woodpecker, is Woodpecker has all of these different email inboxes in one place. Lemless does this, but again, it's just about how they're showing the user how to use these things and how easy it is for them to use it, right? You can send and receive and respond emails all in one place. It's basically the same setup as if you were to do this manually within your Gmail account. Whereas again, with Lemless, it's not as clear, it's not as straightforward, it's a little confusing. And so again, I don't really like the way that they talk about this or how they do it. But both services have really good software for agencies. And if I have to wrap this all up, I still I, I don't I, I still would give the, 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 the award to Lemlist, right? Lemlist definitely wins, in my opinion, just because most agencies are gonna find more value from Lemlist on a whole than with Woodpecker. That being said, Woodpecker, let's say you're an agency that offers cold emailing as a service. I would definitely use Woodpecker over Lemlist because the cost is better and because it's built more for agencies that offer that as a service, whereas Lemless really, from what it looks like, is targeting more so people who have specific, like the, the average sales rep that is going to be prospecting end to end for companies. That is really where everything is focused. It's way more user friendly, way more specific, way more fun than Woodpecker. And so in that sense, I would have your team use Lemless. I think it's worth the price. And again, I'm not sponsored by them. I think it's worth the price, $99 for what you should be closing, which is tens of thousands of dollars per month per rep as a BDR and a sales team or as your, your sales team in general, you should not be worrying about the price, right? That's a very small number compared to how much money you should be collecting. Thank you so much for watching this video on the differences between Lemlist and Woodpecker. I hope you liked my analysis. I hope it was helpful for you and your agency. As always, if you wanna get everything that I was able to use to scale my agency to $185,000 per month in revenue, go to agencygo.io forward slash leads.